So what do we mean when we say that at Encountered Heart, our mission is to share the love of Christ through the art of dance? Well, the Bible says that God is love. And I don't know about you guys, but I have a hard time finding words that adequately express who God is, that adequately express the being, the incredible man, um, Jesus Christ, who fully encompassed love. So when I find that words aren't working for me, I use my body, I use dance. And I think that sometimes that can be the best expression of the Lord. When we dance at Encountered Heart, our goal is to have our hearts set on the Lord, to uh, point what we're doing and how we're moving our body to reflect who God is and remind ourselves of how He created our bodies to move and to glorify Him. I went to a non-denominational church, but it was pretty small, not super charismatic, but there was one lady who danced, and so she danced during service, um, in the front, in the back, Sometimes she'd dance at Christmas, um, and she'd come to like my row, and she'd get me, and she'd pull me out. And I remember as a little girl during worship, looking at these women dance during worship. Dance while they were singing songs, and it was such an exuberant expression of love towards God and affection and even like declaration and prayers. I, I saw what it looked like to integrate faith and dance. And she taught me how to hold my hands and it was basically like I would, I would just copy her. Everything that she did I would copy. And that was where I was exposed to it for the first time and I remember being young and um, working up the courage to dance in the back corner at my church because I was too nervous to dance anywhere else. I didn't really want people to see me. But that kind of paved the way for what it looked like to use my body as worship, to use my movement as a prayer. After a local performance, um, the dad of one of our youth company members came to me and said of a piece, he said, you know, I don't, I'm not really artistic, I don't really get art, but I got that. I felt that and I know what that meant. I was just really moved um, by the love that they were showing to the audience through their stories that they were telling um, through their dances and I just really wanted to be a part of it so that's why I joined Encountered Heart Youth Company and I love it. When you're dancing for a different purpose you're not worried about how you look, how you're coming across. You're not thinking about yourself. Instead, you're thinking about um, your audience. It's no longer about me anymore. It's no longer about you. When I'm moving my body, I'm not just moving in like the physical, truthful form of who I am, but I'm also moving in the spiritual and, and truthful form of who I am. And so dance for me is a way that I can worship God in spirit and in truth. Every piece that we choreograph, every story that we tell, every concept we strive to convey is fully intended to direct the viewer to the love of Christ and to give him the glory that, that he deserves. We want him on display, not us. You know, God, when he made creation, he expressed all of who he was through his creation. And I think because of that, we, as the created ones get to return our expression, the expression of who we are as worship unto the Lord. There's this verse that I love, it's Psalms 42 verse eight, and it says, yet all day long God's promises of love pour over me. I remember seeing a piece years ago during a time when I was going through a really private struggle. Before I saw the piece, I felt lonely and discouraged, unknown, but after that three minutes, I felt totally seen by the Lord that what I'd been walking through, He had my hand. Through the night, I sing His songs, for my prayer to God has become my life. I'm just reminded years later, after still revisiting that piece, that if those three minutes can do that for me, then that's something that I want to be a part of too, moving forward for other people. And that last part, that's really what um, has grabbed a hold of me, especially in these past few months, that my prayer to God has become my life. And so even if it's just my waking up, if it's my going to sleep, my breathing, the, my thoughts, the words that I choose to say, all of that 
is my prayer, or it can be my prayer to God. So how much more could my movement, how much more could my dance be an expression of worship to the Lord?